I mean, I really enjoyed, especially those teenagers. Oh my God, they're Did blessed. You see? Yes, you're part of the dance team, okay? Yes. Then the amazing youth that are doing big things with businesses yes. that are impacting our lives. But you're the visionary behind all of this. And you're responsible for following the footsteps that God has given you to allow us all to hear that. Let me tell you, I'm going through a dark season. I needed to hear that today. Mm. I get discouraged. I get down. Mm. I feel like sometimes, why are we doing this? And let me tell you, you come to an event like this and you hear everybody's story. And everybody's story means something. And when you can hear that they've overcome some of the darkest places in their lives, yes. starting with you yes. and your story and where we're at yes. now, let me tell you, you can't put a price tag on what's going on. Mm -hmm. You just can't. So when I say I thank God for you in so many ways, you sow seed to my daughter. Mm. Her life is changing. Yes. It's slowly but surely, but hey, yes. that's okay. We're going to mm -hmm. keep sowing the seed. Mm -hmm. And that's what this has been all about, Desiree. So next year, I'm telling you, you won't be able to close the door. It'll be so many people. Oh, wow. Seriously. Just know that. Cause it's I receive that. I definitely receive that. Um, I really believe that obedience is be better than sacrifice. It is. it is. And God honors our obedience. Amen. In spite of. Amen. And it's just amazing to me of when we can get the how-to tools and you could take a piece of each of their stories on the, mm -hmm. all those panels mm -hmm. and apply it to your life to overcome. Yes. It wasn't just, oh, you can do it too. Yes. It's transparency. Exactly. I it want is. you to be real yes. and authentic because it took someone to be real and authentic, authentic yes, to did. me for me to see faith. I heard about faith. Amen. I always went to church and heard about faith in a mustard seed. But when it was actually in my hand, then I realized how much faith God requires us to have. So I was so excited when yeah. everybody agreed to do this event. Yes. They came yeah. out. They came out and supported and yes. brought their uh, followers too as well. Yes. So I can't wait for the next year's I'm telling you, it is offering. going to be amazing. And with that being said, we are here and we are finally meeting the visionary behind all of this. You know me, Angela Foxworth, 108 Praise Radio. We are here. This is what I've been talking about all day. This is what all the pre-interviews were for. <laughs> for such a time as this, we are at the Extreme Faith Conference. And I'm telling you, for where we're going, Desiree, you have to have extreme faith. Because I tell you, for some of us, it is bouncing back from incarceration. Mm -hmm. For some of us, it is bouncing back from being homeless. Yes. For some of us, it is bouncing back from being bullied. The twins, yes. their story. Yes. Oh, my God. And the, the young girl that yes, I just... Christian Monroe. Yes. She is doing big things to help people who are being bullied. When I tell you, you have to have an incredible level of faith yes. to be able to move on. So we are here at the Extreme Faith Conference. This is our beautiful visionary, Desiree Lee, for which all of this has taken place. We thank you so much that God thank always you. uses you in such a mighty way. So I just want to, for you to tell our listeners what this event has meant to you. <laughs> if you can, in a nutshell. <laughs> I would really have to. It means so much to me because during this journey, I started not to even do it. Because I couldn't see it. Amen. Be impossible. Amen. And the thing is with faith, it's not by what you see. Yes. It's not by what you see. You have to call those things that be not as though you were. Sometimes yes. God calls us to a vision and we have to be <laughs> obedient. It's like, Lord, I don't even see how this is going to happen. <laughs> yes. But see, the focus is not on the how. Amen. It's using the tools that you have. Yes. That's what that moment meant to me on that day when I received my mustard seed to change my perception of the resources I had right there. Amen. So what I want you guys to understand is I'm able to pour into someone else because somebody poured into me. But what this conference meant to me, that first annual That's extreme right. faith conference meant to me is the harvest. Amen. I want to show others the harvest Amen. part so they can see the impact from that one seed that yes. just see it gave me. Yes. And I'm telling Isn't you, awesome? we had interviews where they said that they were floored by their contribution to the wow. book 
and then what it is what is happening as a whole because a lot of times you do feel like you say something or you do something and then it falls on deaf ears or you're like they probably never listen or you even wonder if it mm -hmm. was you know something that could have changed someone's mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. so it is beautiful to come back and be able to see that hey you do matter what you went through was not in vain. Mm -hmm. God had a reason, and I love what everybody said today. The reason why we have extreme faith mm -hmm. is because we all have this this huge purpose wow. that we have got to complete. You have to. <laughs> and you have to have the faith to be able to do that. It was, I'm, yes. God just moved all the yeah, way around did. from the, the <laughs> mistress and master of ceremony, yes. from the music to yes. the contributing authors, and I'm just blessed. I'm blessed that God has kept me in yes. the midst of going through. I'm just blessed that he has taken my broken pieces and made them his masterpiece. Amen. I'm blessed that he has placed people strategically yes. around me who believe in the vision to execute this. Yes. Because you have to well, do it and we can't do it alone. And so you're blessing us. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> yes, Thank you, you are. Thank you, Angela. Seriously, you are. So I just want you to leave our listeners with a word of wisdom from Desiree Lee because you are changing lives. And it's so funny because when we first talked and you gave your testimony about where you had gone through, who would have ever known at this time in your life where mm. you're at today, that is the beauty of God. And that's what voicing the gospel, okay, mm -hmm. is all about, seriously. And you do that. So I want you to encourage our listeners today. Leave them with a, a great word that they can actually live by. And, you know, what this event truly, I mean, you've told us what it meant, but I'd love for them to hear something encouraging Absolutely. from you. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Um, you're right. If somebody would have told me this while I was in a cell, I would tell them that they're lying. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have seen it at all. But I'm just so yes. glad, again, that God kept me. The encouragement that I would like to leave the listeners today is what I share with the audience today. Um, some of you might not be able to be in here in the attendance to receive this word. But when I was up there, it wasn't even in my notes that God did not bury you. He planted you. Uh -huh. But when I said that two times, almost three times to the audience, it came to me that we bury things to die and we plant things mm. to grow. Amen. Amen. So God didn't bury you. Amen to die but he planted you to grow and what you bury to die and bury to plant is in the same soil mm. so it's our perception of how we look at things so no longer i'm telling you do not bury your visions to die but plant them to grow you take your mustard seed you have to open up your mouth and speak to your mountains and they will move what do i mean by that words are vibrations vibrations is energy energy is power and they say energy never dies levi said that the great miles pastor miles monroe his words are still powerful Amen. and living today Amen. yet he died but his words are still alive and living today. So be mindful of what you speak. Amen. So when you say your affirmations, use your I am's. I am's are the two most powerful words for whatever you put behind it is Amen. what you become. So we said, if you want an apple harvest, you plant apple seeds. If you say I am a strong person, you become strong. If you say I am a down chick or whatever you want to say negative, that's what you're going to become. Whatever you plant or sow, you reap. So be mindful of your I am's. I love it. Stay encouraged. Thank you so much again for having me. Always, always. I'm always I blessed. Every time I love you too. I am always blessed. And let me tell you, this has been an amazing event. Again, 108 Praise Radio. We have been at the Extreme Faith Conference with our host, Desiree Lee. Please continue to support her. How can they find you? They can always find me at www.dleeinspires.com. Or via social media at D Lee Inspires. D L E E Inspires. All right, we have had yet another amazing, awesome event that has been life changing right here on 108 with Angela Foxworth, also my host, Jacosta Odom. She was actually helping this evening. We have had a wonderful event, and we thank you so much for always tuning in. Good night.